Hi everyone, it's Michelle from Scrap Secrets and I want to show you real quick a couple of things that I've done over the past couple of days. On Friday I got my order from Joann's and um, I wanted to use some of the items that I got from that order. So what I did was I made um, a card out of this stamp set. It's from Kaiser Craft called Little Toot and I used both of the train parts, the train tracks and the airplane and I did some paper piecing. So let me show you what I did. So this is the card, and it's a little, I guess for a little boy for the birthday. I laid down the tracks first, and then I stamped the front of the train once, and then the back carts, I stamped them twice. And then I stamped the plane on the cardstock. So then after that, what I did was I just took some cardstock that I had lying around, some scrap pieces, and stamped each of the parts of the train onto those and the, the plane, and just fussy cut around them to make sure that there was no white edges or colored edges around each of the pieces. I took the Spectrum Noir marker, it's just in true black, and went around the edges just to kind of give it a little bit of a finished off look. And then, pay, then put the pieces down on top of the ones that I already stamped out. So the wheels were the only thing on the train tracks that were originally stamped on there. So then I took this gray glitter glue and went around the wheels with it. And then for the windows, I used the Studio G glitter glue. It's white with just a little bit of color to it. Just a teeny tiny bit. And so you can see the windows of that. And the same thing for the plane. Now for the plane, I took a blue marker that I had and colored in the little dots, as well as put the dash lines around here. Now this banner comes from this die cut from Simon Says Stamp. It's an exclusive Simon Says Stamp, and it's just meant to do greetings on the front of cards, but I thought it would make a really cute airplane banner, so... Um, that's why I did that. So it's not exactly dry yet, so I don't want to try not to touch it too much. But um, the next time I do it, I'll probably do like a blue background for the sky, and then I'll probably do some clouds and things like that. But I like the way the first one turned out. I just wanted to see um, how paper piecing with this would go. So that's the first card that I did. I did that all tonight. And then on Friday, I wanted to do some watercoloring. So I used this paper pad, and if you saw my Michaels um, haul video a little while ago, this Creatology paper is over in the kids section, and I used a 50% off coupon, so I think I got it for about $2.50, um, it's for 40 sheets, the other ones that were over in the True Artist section were like $8 for 15 to 20 sheets depending on what brand you got so I thought that I would just try this out and see how it, it works I really like it um, I don't use too much water on my projects uh, I don't layer things so maybe it's just for beginners that that's good more watercolor paper but I find for what I need it for it works good um, works well I'm sorry um, so this is a remnant of the piece of that I die cut from so I just used it to test colors for um, watercoloring my princesses I use antique linen for their skin and then I actually googled the princesses because some of them I w wasn't sure what color um, their outfits were I knew what color hair they all had uh, this is Ariel's um, so the background, I believe that's tumbled glass, and then I used fired brick and, um, the other red that I have, uh, barn door to do her hair color, and then I used dusty concord for her bikini top and the flower in her hair. And then for snow white, I used, this is tumbled glass, this is mustard seed, that's one of the dark blues, I think that's chipped sapphire that um, is her dress. I used my white American Crafts marker to do her collar, and then I think bar a combination of barn door and um, fire brick for her headband and the red on here. And then the back is picked raspberry. And so if you notice, the backgrounds on here kind of match the background paper back here. 
just was a accident. Um, I did this on Friday, and when I was looking for background paper today, I noticed that I had this paper pack. Oops. Sorry, from Recollections, and these four colors here just happen to be the same colors that I painted the backgrounds for all the princesses, so just happened to work out that way. Here's Cinderella's. Uh, the back is Pine Needles, which is a new one that I got from Joanne's. Her hair is mustard seed, and then the blues on her dress and her headband are a mixture of some of the blues that I had that um, were lying around that I just kind of put together just to see what color it would come out, and we just put it on there. So, and then even though that looks a little blue here, it really is green in person. And then the last one I did is Princess Aurora, and this is Dusty Concord. You can see how light purple that is. Um, I think I used it a little bit. I watered it down a lot. And then her dress is just a bunch of different pinks that I have. Um, I know this looks a little bit pinky orange, but that's actually because I just mixed a couple colors together and her hair is mustard seed and her crown is just one of these pinks really watered down. So that's the four princess cards. Um, I think that on the inside I wanted to stamp this little princess. I wanted to stamp happy birthday above it and then little princess because I thought that would be really cute to go with the princess cards. But I think that I'm going to list these on Etsy as blank on the inside and then list that as an option to what they can do. So those are just a couple of projects that I came up with in the past couple days. Um, I just wanted to start to use some of my brand new items. I was so excited to get them. I definitely will be working on more projects and will be making more videos. So um, you guys feel free to leave comments or questions. And if you guys don't already subscribe, please subscribe to me if you like my videos. And um, I will see you guys later. And if you have any ideas of things that you want me to make or if you want to see, leave a comment below. All right. Bye, guys.